Greetings and welcome to episode 43 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign and this my friends we left it last time where we had these three huge Prussian armies my friends ready here to engage us around Konigsberg once again as you can see here we have these two full stack armies here ready to meet them but <clears throat> this is what I was going to consider my friends is uh, we need to isolate as many of these armies and destroy them as much as we can here using sort of our sort of superior uh, local superiority against the Prussians so as they send more troops in more armies in each one of these armies sort of gets churned into the meat grinder as it were around Konigsberg so we use our strength which is where all our st all our armies are around Konigsberg we use it against them so where they send these forces in sort of piecemeal and they get eaten up by our armies and then spat back out again my friends we've got to teach the Prussians a lesson here we've also got to drain them here both physically and morally here we have to really hit the, the Prussians hard now as you can see these are significant armies here as together they are a significant threat to us they've got a huge huge superiority my friends in not only guns but cavalry as well and and that really does hurt our our sort of aim here our goal as it were here but if we can pick these armies off individually bit by bit piece by piece it weakens them but it keeps us together it keeps us a, as a coherent whole here so I'm not gonna take this fight between these armies here but if this army moves in closer and these armies then can't sort of aid their ally here that means that we can have three or four armies against this one army here we can absolutely obliterate it now what we can do is we can move the armies that are replenish up to the front we can then move these other armies that have taken a bit of a battering to the back to replenish these armies here will eventually be become full stack armies once again and be fully replenished and recruited we shall move them up to the front here and we'll start picking away here at the Warsaw garrison it'll take us a long time don't get me wrong here but look what you've noticed down here the Austrians have suddenly turned up as well outside Warsaw so now we've got Russian we've also got Austrian as well allies of the Prussians here so this means that they are they are pretty much panicking because if Prussia collapses if Prussia falls they will lose a huge huge ally not only in terms of militarily but also economically and that's why Russia and Austria are panicking here because they know we have the capacity and also the will with which to take Prussia down believe me my friends we've also got arriving very very soon out in the west we've got another army group is going to be assembled my friends we're probably going to attack Cologne with that army group that's an investment of at least 10,000 men additional forces here being landed on Prussian soil my friends the commitment is whole to us we will have in, in an entirety at least 50,000 men here immured with it in Prussia here so we have to do this right we just can't throw the men into the fights we know we might not come out very well of there's a chance we might come out, come out very well of this fight but if we can pick this army up by itself and really put it through the grinder and send it once again on its way each time these forces come in they'll get picked apart and sent on their way it then starts to really hit the sort of the Prussian morale but also brings their armies down much much further because they've got fantastic armies be under no illusions of the of the the fight that we have in front of us it's going to be huge but we're not going to take this initial fight not a bad not bad at all but we're almost there not quite we're not going to take this other fight either we'll see if it moves it it does indeed the trap is sprung my friends the trap is sprung now as you can see this army here is not best suited for the fight as you can see we've only managed to get these two re two regiments into reinforce the rest have been absolutely battered to pieces here so effectively we've only got three we've got three uh, regiments that can really do any sort of damage here we've got these four three cannons here again not brilliant but they've only got three pounders here and one six pounder a lot of cavalry a huge amount of cavalry but look what we've been able to do because we were patient because we picked our time just right we can now bring in these forces here which can absolutely batter them to be look at that 424 pounders what else? Oh my gosh. We've got these, but I'm going to put these at the back here. I don't want these coming in first. I want the Marines to come in last if necessary. Wait a minute, gentlemen. That's right, perfect. So, we've got this army coming in straight after this army here. Some of these were involved in some of the fighting previously. 
but this is the fight that we did want to take we wanted to take this fight now we can intercept we're going to pick this army to pieces here this army is not in very good shape as you can see it's only down to 1178 men it should be close to two and a half thousand so we're gonna have to immediately with evacuate this army out of the fight once the fight is over it'll be moved back to behind Konigsberg we shall move this army up here that is behind Konigsberg that is certain, currently sort of in siege mode it'll be brought up to here to defend any future pushes in and we'll then move this one back out of the way and sort of bring it back up we do have a lot of uh, recruitment going on here in Konigsberg so we'll just merely fill the ranks out with whatever is taking quite a bit as you can see it's not in the best shape but what comes behind it is that's the difference my friends let's take this fight another battle here but another Prussian army ripe for the taking here and that is the fight we have to do we have to take these fights we have to pick our fights we can't just be sort of trailblazing in hundreds and hundreds and thousands of men into sort of the meat grinder here we have to pick our fights if we do this correctly if we take our time <coughs> it's going to open up that that sort of that gap we need in the line here we need to break this sort of siege mode the pressure out around us here if we're going to sort of strike out the army groups are still still immured here around conics but we need to free them up we need that strike power open and available to us to be able to fight here in deeper in sort of the, the deeper echelons of the Prussian defences here they've brought the Russians and the Austrians in to try and help them that won't do them any good and further west we'll soon have another army group landing heading straight for Cologne believe me my friends that will be coming as you can see look at this this army is pretty weak as you can imagine it was it was absolutely at the forefront of the fighting last time so that is why it is not in the best of shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold a very, very, very high defensive line here so that we give our chance chance for, for other regiments, for other reinforcements to come in. And look at that, we're exactly in exactly the same spot as before. Here is that defensive line we had before, where we're in this V formation. It's exactly the same territory. Maybe a little bit more, I'd say, probably to the to the left. But again, we're in exactly the same fighting field here. So we have to again use what we have available to us here. So first of all, let's bring in the cannons, which we are going to be using. Oh my gosh, that is really is a poor showing right there. Right, what we are going to do is... They're unnumbered. Are they going to be able to fire properly? Yeah. So <clears throat> even though we've only got this number here, Gentlemen, oh my gosh, really, really. Right, that's going to be good enough. We're going to have quick line shots. So we are going to be waiting for that uh, that cavalry to arrive. The cavalry is what we must pinpoint here. We're going to put at the very front of our defences here is this line, the brand new line. Luckily, we brand luckily we brought in that line infantry, that brand new line infantry. doesn't look like it wants to play ball here there it is that's better look at that beautiful we bring in the other one here just to cover our flanks here keep things nice and compact and the third brand new regiment perfect perfect now we're going to try and really hunker down here against this cavalry if possible What's another good regiment or what's left of the regiments here? We don't really have any sort of massive regiments. Um, so we're not going to be in the sort of the best shape here to really defend everything, but we're going to make the best of what we got here. We've got 47 men here. We've got... Yeah, okay. Oh, good grief. Right, we're going to try and make the best of this. We're going to put the... Oh my gosh, look at that. Even the Republican Guards are down to 43 men. 43 men of the Republican Guard. Jeepers creepers, we've been absolutely battered to pieces here. 47, that's a really strong. The 82nd is really strong. We have the 89th here as well next to them. Gentlemen. Thank you. I think... 
have the militia here right here ready to counter attack counter charge anything comes our way because believe me we will be counter charged got the light foot which I think we were probably going to put actually we're going to put the ire rifle here the longman here it's an unusual tactic an unusual placement but it's what we've got to do to try and protect ourselves we've got to use everything at our disposal here if you've got nothing you've got to try and use everything you possibly can at your disposal to try and fight the best you can here we're going to put these right on the extremities here okay, how's that looking there on that tree that's not too bad there right we've got the general's bodyguard which will be immediately sat behind the lines here we've got some cavalry but again oh my gosh this is absolutely absolutely butchered Oh, we've got, oh, we've got more colonial light infantry here. Excellent. So they will actually be set up along this perimeter here. It's more like it. Gentlemen, please. Thank you. We want all of them to retreat as soon as they see any sort of panic coming in. We might just set up stakes here as well. We've got cavalry, which is going to be used for counter-charging purposes only. We are probably going to come under a lot of pressure here. Hopefully our reinforcements will reach us in time. But if they don't... German Battalion, right. Thirty-two men. They're going to be. Gentlemen, please, I will not stand for any disobedience here. Thank you. Put this flank here. We shall put. It's not a great deal, is it? It's not really a great deal we're working with here, but still. Right, that's the best we're going to do. <sighs> Holy smokes, this is going to be a tough fight, because if our reinforcements are coming soon, we are going to be in trouble. We're going to try and get stakes out as quickly as possible. Let's do this, my friends. All right, set up those stakes. Set up those stakes. Get them set up, please, gentlemen. Quickly. By oh, damn, that's a full force here. Look at them moving out there. The horse guards. My word, this is going to be difficult. <clears throat> They're going to try and outflank us here. Get those sticks in beautiful. As usual, they're going to try and outflank us here. Militia. We're going to switch these just to this flank here. But as soon as they come on board, we're going to be hitting these for absolute six here. We're taking some shots here already. We are going to be feeling this. Keep your eyes peeled, lads. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to get absolutely blitzed to pieces here.
see, lads. Steady now, steady. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. torn apart here pretty badly. Steady lad, steady now. Wait for the order. Come on, reload those guns quicker. Like it. Actually, we want to hit some of these line infantry here. Keep firing, lads. Keep firing. We've got to keep an eye on them. We've got to use everything at our disposal here. We are getting absolutely butchered here, my friends, by these guns. We've just got to hold our grounds here. Hold our ground. Why the hell aren't these firing here? They're going to break. They're going to break. This army will not be forgotten, my friends. It will not be forgotten. Could we actually go around here? get around here and try and hit some of these guns here that are absolutely butchering us to pieces here. Because being immured here is absolutely killing us here. We're still holding my friends, we're still holding. regiment here. Drats. That's what's left of the, those guards. 
they spot us we're dead the bravery of the few come on Prussia do something here succeeded it they've gone oh what a beautiful f shot that was come on gentlemen c continue firing If I had a full battery here, this would be a completely different ball game, believe me. My god, that is... Yes! Now we're talking. Hold the line. We've been absolutely blitzed to pieces here by those guns. But what we don't do is we don't just buckle and run. Beautiful. Come on, run under those stakes, run under those stakes. Oh, what a f oh, look at that. Charge. Lads, what a defence here. They're trying to overwhelm us here. Right, we need those reinforcements. We need them in right now. Right, let's get stuck in there. No point in loitering about anymore. That's it. All hands to the deck. We're going to lose this. We've been overwhelmed here. My God, what a... F we need the reinforcements. We need them right now.
Yes, that's what we want to see. There's those guns right there. What the blazes is going on here? We need a coherent front. We've lost all of our cannons. Or have we? No, not yet. Oh dear. Double time it please, gentlemen. And if you would be so kind as to put yourselves here. When you're ready, if you could start pounding these regiments, please. Right. We've got more incoming. Come on, gentlemen, move. I think we can set up our line here. That's more like it, lads. If I kill them all their artillery, that's been giving us the most trouble. We've got to try and give ourselves some kind of a break here. Ours. That's right, pull them apart now, lads. Whoa, 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 whoa. a new line, lads. Now we've lost the New Yorkers. We'll probably lose that regiment of cap of fire. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Beautiful firing. 
Yorker. We lost the New Yorkers here, but <laughs> they've gone. Come on, lads, finish them off here. Shattered, please. There we go. Turn your ire on them. Okay, we're going to lose this artillery here, but we can still make ourselves back up again here with this. Unfortunately, they came on the wrong position. Yeah. And once again, luckily the reinforcements are coming. This is what I mean, my friends. We've lost a good, you know, a, a decent sized force, but we have picked apart an entire army here. And if you would, please, gentlemen. And limber. And shift to there. beautiful sight. I think we're pretty good here at the moment. The line is pretty well stabilized. Ah. We do have most of this under control. Yeah, most of our force here have buckled, but they've done their job and they've got away as well, so they're going to be reconstituted later. Here they come. <laughs> That's more like it, lad. This is more like it. It's a sh it's a beautiful sight. It's an absolute beautiful sight to see. Let's put the fire up on these. Shattered. Looks like they want to come in for some close combat, which is fine. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> broken. The entirety of this army has been smashed to pieces, and rightly so. That's a wonderful sight. Oh, the regiment. Thank you very much. Very much. I think we'll keep these in reserve. <laughs> Come on then, Prussia. Uh 
Oh, we're gonna lose so much. Get out, get out, get out. Go on, these retreating. Withdraw, please, gentlemen, withdraw. Yes, that's more like it. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight, my friends. It's a beautiful sight. This army in its entirety destroyed. pieces broken all along the front thank you very much Whew, that's another tough fight there my friends another really tough fight there but we managed to hold although we did lose a terrific amount of troops it's going to take them a long time a couple of a couple of months probably a couple of years to re replenish and bring that back up to where it needs to be but again they're not needed so they can be victory indeed my friends indeed it was a close victory wow absolutely unbelievable whoa we lost 1331 actually not too bad they lost they lost almost everything but look at this army it's been absolutely decimated but that was the fight that's the sacrifice we had to make we had to make that sacrifice wow we didn't do too bad here actually at all much better than I thought we would that's right, you just retreat, sunshine. You retreat and don't come back. Now, for some reason the Ottomans, have, of course the Ottomans, are at war with them here. Ottoman Empire, hopefully, hopefully keep the Prussians at bay here. That would be nice if they could do that. <coughs> and hold them up along this frontier. Mind you, look at that, Prussia has even got a huge amount of territory here for Russia. Ottomans are sending forces out of outside Baghdad, that's quite nice. Ooh, Russia trying to get you on Britain, no chance. Brit Britain's fleet is way too powerful for that. Persia sp Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did that army just come from? <laughs> Confederation of New England, and they give, give me Iceland and Norway. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I'm afraid that will never happen. But thank you for the offer. Jeepers creepers. Where the hell did that Spanish force come from? That just come right out of nowhere. They must have been sat there for, for such a long time. That is unbelievable. Where the heck did that Spanish force come from? I never, I did not see that coming at all. We're gonna have to send a force out to deal with that, I think. That um, where, where did this come from? I must have been here all that time in the wilderness, just sat there waiting. We don't really have anything either here apart from here in Charleston, which means we're gonna have to send out a force here to try and deal with this. What have they got? Whoa, they got militia, melee infantry, militia, some six pound. Where do they get this from? That's the question, but it has been it has been under some kind of attrition here. <sighs> Jeepers creepers, look at that. Plus one, plus one to command with defending land, plus one morale. Oh they've really earned their keep. They really have done fantastic well, look at this. Right, it looks like we're gonna have to put a force 
to deal with that Spanish problem, should we say, right there. Right, we do need a general in this army. We are going to need more guns. Oh, we got them on the way, that's great. And I think we're going to start... What have we got here in terms of composition? Plenty of cavalry. And I think the rest will go into guns. We've got three guns on the way. We'll have one more regiment of infantry. Nope, wrong one. And we can also begin another army composition as well. What have we got coming in each turn? Oh, 44,000. Very nice indeed. Okay, we're going to really power out the troops here. I think we can't do any more here, or can we? As we can. Two. Okay. Right, we do need... So I'm going to take the army here from Charleston, which is, as you can see, a very nice... E Nice composition here. We're going to actually send these troops down to here just to make sure we're not going to be hit. And we're going to send out these gentlemen here to deal with the Spanish... Well, all I can say is Spanish rebels. I don't even know where they arrived from. Where did they come from here? Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> the army group arrives, my friends. It arrives. And not a moment too soon. I think we're going to join. We're not going to move out until we've got... This army group can move out as a coherent whole here, as a cohesive force. Gentlemen, please carry on your journey. They are neutral. They are not a threat to us yet. Thank you. And again there, the force arrives. Look at this army group, my friends. 10,000 men. And I would hope, yeah, they're going to get blocked as well. No, indeed not. Excellent, look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this. This is a beautiful sight. It's going to be led by this army here. We're going to punch you into Cologne. Cologne, because look what Cologne will give us. Mines, lots of factories here, pleasure gardens. We've got a classical university as well. It gives us access also to Stuttgart is here. We can really hit the rear here of the Prussian Empire. Austria does have a tremendous amount of troops here. But we're not going to concern ourselves just yet with those. Now we don't want any of these ships here to be picked off. So Actually this one here can go around to this and join this fleet. It's a long way to go. And let's let's put this in there. The ship that for some reason didn't want to pick the army up, but still went anyway. That ship, that sloop, can also be diverted to help with this blockade. And Austria seems to be really pushing in a lot of troops here to try and help the uh, the Prussians here. I'm not too happy what's going on here. Prussians, I wonder if we can help out the Ottomans. James Brown. Can we help the Ottomans out with anything? We can give them... Ah, that's not going to do much good to them, is it really? I think they've pr probably got a ha they've got a handle. I think on pretty much what's going on down here. They've taken Ankara back, which is good, and I think they're also well, actually Mesopotamia here. The Mamluks have got quite a group here. Who are they at war with? Actually, they're protectorates. The, the Mamluks are their protectorates. Wow. <coughs> Actually, the Mamluks are pretty not. I've actually got some. That's a heck of a reduction of facility they got there, but I'm hoping the Ottomans can do some more. Mind you, they're getting absolutely battered here. Look at this. The rebellion was taking its toll here, and the pressure is pushed in hard here. But right, we've got to focus on what we're doing here. And Russia has got still got these troops here. A little bit concerning, but we're not going to be too vexed by it, right? Fully replenished. A 
and there as well. I'm going to bring all of these troops up here f to full. Now, fortunately, we do have these gentlemen have just been recruited, so they're going to be built in here to fill this back up. And this army here is going to be this army is going to be moved to here to take its place. Thank you, please, gentlemen. And this army here is going to be moved to the back here to be replenished out of harm's way. Actually, not too bad at all. We've come out of this not too bad at all. A lot, lot better than I thought we would. And what about here? That's fine there. Again, this army. And this one here, which is absolutely dug in anyway. So we've actually come out of this not too bad. We've actually cleared quite a lot. Of, by damn, they've got a lot around here. But we have given them a damn good thrashing here. Let them come in here, but they do have these forces here, but they're not at full... Oh my gosh, they have got quite a lot of strength there. Right, we've got to keep continue our production here. Actually, we're going to turn these off here at the moment. We're going purely for troops. Cannons can come in later. We'll be hitting... Cologne. France has got a huge force. Cassell. And they've got... What have they got in, in here? Still not too bad there at all, force-wise. Sir. Ready. Orders. Waiting orders. We are going to wait for those to be ready. Coming in 4436. Anyone else we can trade with? Let's so we can get trade with Greece. Nope. Courland. Hostile with Afghanistan, Barbary State, which is fine. Hostile with Prussia, Spain. Well, the British should deal with the rest of Spain, I think. But as you... Ooh. Actually, I know what we'll do. We'll try and cut off this port here. What's Britain doing here? That cheapest creep because that's a big army right there. Looks like they go, oh, they're going to try and move in troops I think into Spain possibly. <coughs> but we're, we're getting there my friends, we're getting there slowly, we should have these replenished quite quickly. So should these, we're going to move this army group up, these two army groups up then to the border here. Whatever happens here. Puckle guns. We've moved in our strongest forces, we've moved this one behind us here so we can be we can reconstitute it, re bring it back up to full strength. I should keep this we'll keep this here just in case they someone decides to attack Memel. And I think back at home we definitely have to deal with this Spanish force because it's gonna start raiding our land pretty heavily here. With that I can guarantee you. So, what do we do? We begin to put in the forces going to go up to here and search around the wilderness. What else have we got available to us in terms of... We've got these troops here, so we're going to build some more troops. I think we'll have definitely have some more cavalry. Infantry, beautiful. We could take this here, this Pudunda. It's held by rebels. It would definitely give us some much better or some more income here. I might even take Pudunda out here, I think, with this force here. It's been sat on our on the out outline of our shores here. We could take it out and gain more income. 44, 346 trade like. 
Sweden's opened their trade back up, and so has the Ottomans. No, the Ottomans have got to cut off. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's have a look here. Got everything. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. No, I think what we'll do is we'll break the siege here. We're not ready for this. This is too much for us. Break Britain. What are you going to do against Spain? Hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing funny here, Britain. Nothing for. Whoa, who was there? Britain just fought someone there. B but whom? Was that British rebels? Or was that Mukahal? France. Ah. Prussia, well, here we go. <clears throat> See, they're moving troops up. This is where the pressure is coming on them now. They're still moving troops through these territories here. But we may have just given ourselves some breathing space here. Yeah, they're going to start moving into Hanover here to try and hold it. Oh, they're weakening the Hanoverian front. Whoa! <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like, my friends, another battle is underway here but they've come in to attack us so we're going to be situated very nicely here with all these guns but they've got 24 pounders as well that's going to really hurt us we've only got one cavalry here but they've got quite a lot right we're going to take this fight by damn they're not giving us any reprieve at all but doesn't matter we've got to try and take look at that we've cleared the entire this entire defensive formation here the Prussians have thrown in we've completely removed this entire flank both flanks here the centre and the the left the right flank should I say has been completely cleared then let's take this fight if they want to fight if they want to battle they've got it We can replenish this army then again, my friends, again. It's been unrelenting. Excuse me then, my friends, a beverage of tea. Let's have a quick look here where the... They look at that, they're right on our doorstep. They're literally a stone's throw away here. We got... Oh, damn, there's a blooming well village right in the middle of the slap bang in the middle of this here. And it's a really small deployment area in, in terms of where we're going to be. We could use this here to our advantage, indeed. If it's all hidden here, we can use this outcrop here. To our advantage, we're going to set our general for definite back here behind the enemy, behind the enemy line, behind the the houses here. Okay, let's get things sorted here. We've got 88 men here. The cavalry, not not many. In terms of what we could have, we could need definitely need more here, but as you can see here, oh look at that, we're even dug in as well, even better. So we're gonna we're gonna face these Prussians head on. Oh ho 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 ho. It's a beautiful sight, my friends. It's a beautiful sight. Right. Let's get these gentlemen lined up here properly now, so we can take the fight to them. Now our strongest regiment. It looks like it's the 72nd here and also the 68th. We have the 68th in the vanguard of our defence here. Let's move these gentlemen. Oh, we've oh, we got. Oh, yeah. I thought we had some, but we don't. Right. 68th Regiment are going to be sat here. Perfect. Absolutely. 
absolutely perfect and we'll have the the 72nd here on their on their right Seventy third on their left. Now this is much more advanced than we normally are, but we've got to try and take the fight to them here. We have to do it. Thirtieth regiment here on the immediate right. Seventy first again on the right here. Let's take the fight to them. I wonder if we can flank if we can flank any of them by moving our cavalry here and going right and looping right around. Seventy eighth regiment. I know we've got some walls here, but we're not gonna be Hiding behind the walls. Let's confront them head on. They've got to come to us, remember. On the extreme left is the 76th. We've got some reserve forces here. We should have the 42nd here. Dug in here, ready to fight. We've got 43rd and on the in the center, and we've got last but not by any means least the 87th here on the right. Let's pull these back. We don't want them firing at their own men. We've got the general. Oh, look at that. We've also got these gentlemen here as well. And we've also got the 70th here as well. And again. Let's put all of these gentlemen here to good use. We've got the general here, last but not least at all. And we've got oh, we've even got wow, we've even got a 77th regiment here, which I probably put in deep reserve, which will be right back here. But again, we can always use it if needs be. Send the point. Let's begin. We are going to be hit hard, my friends. Really, really hard here. Here they come. Straight for us. Lances.
What a shot! That's the way. I'm dropping right on top of them, right on top of them. Time to move them in. I knew it, they would try and do this to us. Moving lads. Clear these entire flanks here. Move it, lads. For goodness sake, kill them all. Sorry, my friends. Yes, you just run, cowards. If you would, please, gentlemen, just stand around watching your comrades die. Move.
Let's move. Take the charge, lads, take the charge! <laughs> the puckle gun will die. Sandwich him. Get them, lads. Get them. Kill them. Don't any militia out. Don't let any of them out. Yes. What a raggedy line, what a ragged line here, hold. the fiends they are. What a fight that was, my friends. Another Prussian force. Another death there for the Prussians. It's not going to do you any good. Your doom is sealed. Completely shattered, utterly, utterly vanquished. Oh, what a fight, my friends, what a fight. Who still remains? Who still? No one. Yes. Another Prussian army destroyed. We lost 1,000, they lost almost everything. This rate of attrition is staggering. <sighs> My god, here they come again. But look, they've got nothing at all, hardly. 
neither have we though whoa what a fight this is going to be look our guns are luckily going to do it for us hopefully we've still got these forces here which we managed to keep back but by damn they're throwing everything they can at us here but my friends this is going to be a fight for next episode I hope you've enjoyed this episode my friends <laughs> As you can see, we really are fighting against an enemy that's determined to try and get take us out here, but we're just holding on against all the odds. It's a battle of attrition here. There's no other word for it. It is just literally who is going to be left standing at the end of it all. We only have about 400 m more men than they do, but they've taken a real battering here. They're throwing the last reserves in here. Um, and luckily we've got these guns here. These guns will tilt it in our favour. They should do anyway, but they've still got this the one militia regiment here. This is full we've got these two here which are our two best which should be enough to defend here but bite and there as well and there so we, we should be okay here uh, the rest would have to use as sort of counter charges here but we're going to have to do as much damage as we possibly can here using our cannon which we luckily we have got as an advantage but my friends in episode we're going to this is going to be the, the next episode will be a fight straight away here immediately in East Prussia once again <coughs> Hopefully then we can get enough space. Hopefully this army then will be replenished. We can move it up to here. Up to here. We're going to keep this army here. Let it replenish. Replenish all the others. Get more troops out. And s and also attack um, Hanover. Or no, probably ta attack Cologne. And take Cologne out with our new army group that's landed. Take care of the Spanish forces. Suddenly materialised out of thin air. I don't know where that came from. But we're going to deal with that as well. So if have any of our sort of rear areas raided at all. We can't have that. But my friends... This is where it's going to end. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, well, please comment, like, subscribe, my friends. As always, as always, keep your comments coming down below. They have been absolutely fantastic. They really have helped me f mold and shape this campaign. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful advice. It really has been. Hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend as well. Be safe, whatever you're doing. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.